Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you're here on my channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I am rebuilding my roll off roof. Well, like I told you before, I'm rebuilding my roll off roof and this time I'm gonna make it semi-transparent it's uh the or original one is getting pretty old it's been about six years since I built it and the wood is starting to rot from all the rain and the sunshine and the roll off roof portion is getting really hard to slide open so I've decided to build it much lighter and this time I'm going to build it kind of semi-transparent. You'll see here in a, in a bit. Uh, I want to show you how I am building it and how I'm going to lift it up and put it on the observatory and take the old one off. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Well up there you can see the original roll-off roof portion. And you could probably see how the wood on top is starting to rot and bow. So I'm going to replace that whole top portion with this down here. The old one is built out of 2x4s and plywood and uh, smart panel siding with a metal roof. And this one's going to be all aluminum frame. And I'm using transparent plexiglass panels to cover all the sides and the roof will also be a transparent uh, roof panel that's uh, corrugated. And there's Ringo enjoying one of his bones. Okay, so the main skeleton, the main structure of this roll-off roof portion is all aluminum angle with some aluminum tube going across. Total width is 9 feet going this direction and total depth going that direction is 8 feet. So everything is bolted together or I also use rivets and I also did some aluminum brazing welding. It's very interesting. You should look into that on YouTube. It's a uh, aluminum brazing. It's called very simple welding technique to weld aluminum uh, pieces together. So the shape will be the same shape as the original one. Except the original one probably weighs about 250, maybe 300 pounds. And this one right now as it stands, it's weighing probably 80, maybe 90 pounds at the most. So right now I have finished putting on these side translucent panels and now I'm going to start putting on the roof portion of it which are these clear corrugated panels. So that's my next step and I'll show you progress as I go along. Keep watching. Well, 
I got the first half of the roof paneling done and it turned out fairly well I still got to put the, the front panel on this end but I ran out of material so I got to go buy another panel So now I still have this part of the roof paneling to install. Now that I did the first half, this second part should be fairly easy. So it's coming along pretty good. And I'll continue working and we'll see how it goes. Bingo. Okay, I know a lot of you will be asking me why am I building it out of this translucent material? You're gonna say my equipment will be exposed to the sun, it'll be too hot. Uh, I should have kept it the way it was. But uh, first of all, I don't keep my equipment installed here at my observatory all the time. I just bring it in when I'm gonna use it and I'm, I tear it down when I'm done and I take all my stuff home. I don't leave it here. Uh, second of all, I don't image during the day so it won't be exposed to direct sunlight. Uh, and a lot of you, you guys set up your scopes on tripods outside during the day and wait for uh, the sun to set. So it's no difference. And last point is that this translucent material is UV rated. It, it cuts down about 80% of the UV rays and it's a lot cooler than a metal roof. The metal roof uh, the temperature would probably increase 10 to 15 degrees hotter than it is uh, outside with with the sun hitting directly on that metal roof. It's always really hot up there. And now with this translucent material, uh, it'll it'll reflect most of the UV rays, and uh, it should be cooler than the metal roof. So there you go, that, that, that's my reasoning. Well, here it is, pretty much finished. This uh, roll-off roof is ready to be lifted and installed in place. I finished installing all the uh, metal trim around the edges. Cock some edges, added screws. But yeah, it's ready to go. Hopefully, here in a couple days friend's gonna come over with a lift and we're gonna remove that top old roof and install this new one and we'll see how it fits hopefully everything works out fine we shall find out soon
Well, here is the old roof sitting down here on the ground. I gotta tear it apart and take it over to the local uh, landfill. So that'll be one of these days here soon. And there you could see the new roll-off roof. Everything turned out pretty good. Okay, so here are the new metal support rails in place. These uh, two by eights are just scaffolding for us to be able to walk across and not put too much pressure on on the metal roof. So I'll be I'll be removing those here once once I'm done. So this is the back end where uh, the roof slides open. You can see that's the track. It's garage track. And that's what the wheels roll on. Holds it in place. It prevents uplift. So the wind won't blow the roof away. So now let's head uh, inside, let's go upstairs and I'll show you how it turned out from the inside. I have the hatch open right now. Okay, so here it is installed. Still have some work to do. I gotta close off that bottom gap there. Came a little bit shorter than what it needed to be. But that's no problem. Let me close the floor hatch. Okay. And now to roll it open, I'll just get it from here and just push it gently and there it goes rolling along lightweight easy to push so overall it came out better than what I expected I'm really happy with the end result here now to close it I'm gonna end up putting a handle or something but for now I'll just grab it from here and drag it go yeah it's a lot cooler in here than it was before for sure <laughs> 